What is going on my awesome subscribers? My name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how every bass house song of all time ever makes this one bass. I swear it's in every single bass house song and this is what it sounds like. Yes, it is so simple, but I somehow do not already have the tutorial on this and I'm sure a lot of you guys actually don't know how to make this so I want to teach it to you because it's used in every bass house song. So if you want to make bass house, you need to know how to make this bass. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, but yeah, it actually is in a lot of songs obviously. So if you guys like that sound and you think it's pretty good, it's kind of fat then make sure you guys consider clicking that subscribe button if you're new here because you guys already know we're pumping out the best serum tutorials on YouTube every single week we're doing sound design recreations all that good stuff and you're missing out if you're not already subscribed so who wants to miss out on that what do you say we jump right into the sound by the way guys we have a bunch of new projects we are working on um huge 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 tremendous product products and projects <laughs> um so i'm so excited for this next month or it's actually this month, June. Wow, it's already June. But guys, really excited. Stay tuned because we're going to be pumping out some insane, absolutely crazy content. But anyways, let's go back into the tutorial. Um, oscillator A, we're going to jump onto our sine waveform. And we're actually going to be doing the same for oscillator B. Um, so what do you say we turn on oscillator B here? And we are going to be using FM. Surprise, surprise. The sound is actually using frequency modulation as the main kind of tone to give it that metallic -y, uh, presence. So first things first, we're gonna turn up the FM from oscillator B. All right, as of right now, we are receiving the output from oscillator B, so we don't really want that. We just want it, all the sound to be outputted through oscillator A, and for oscillator A sine waveform, just to be receiving that signal from oscillator B and running the frequency modulation off of it. So that means we can go ahead and turn down the oscillator B level and let's go ahead and select a our basic shapes and we'll leave this at a sine waveform so this is where we're at right now now what we're going to do is we're going to modulate the fm and give us a nice little wubby tone okay um, it's going to be about right here. And of course, if this isn't the set tone that we want, we can always go back and change that later. Um, so we're just going to create this nice little shape here. Very basic. I'm going to leave this on envelope. Um, one. I'll put this on one half and um, one little thing that you can do is in envelope one, which is our master amp, um, our master amp envelope, we could just give it a little bit of release. All right, so as of right now, the sound sounds really deep, not really the sound that we're going for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn up the octave up to on oscillator B. Maybe turn that FM up down a bit. So on the unison, we're just gonna turn that bad boy up six voices. Now we have six copies of this waveform that's being modulated, uh, playing at the same exact time. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna give us a really fat and thick tone. So let's hear what it sounds like now. We wanna turn down this detune a bit. I don't know if you guys could hear, but at different parts throughout the sound, it's at different, um, the sound almost sounds like it's at a different volume. Well, that's because it is. That's because the random phase is turned up all the way, so it's gonna be playing in a different part within this waveform every single time. So we wanna turn this random phase all the way down to zero. So it's going to start at the exact same spot, which is right about here, um, every single time, and it's not gonna be changing as to where it is. Um, and we actually wanna do the same thing for oscillator B. All right, so that's going to lead us right into our filter, and we're going to turn on our low pass 18. Now, our low pass filter, we're really going to be using to cut out the high end frequencies, and that's going to really give us a nice shape to the sound. Um, it's going to go, whoa. Well, right now, we already have a nice wubby sound, but we need to even make that wubbier. <laughs> uh, and we're going to do that by cutting out the high end, as I previously said. Um, so, what do you say we turn on our modulator onto cutoff? of the filter 
All right, that sounds pretty good. We want to drop the resonance down to 0%. Not too shabby, eh? Osir A's level, we also want to modulate that um, because uh, we don't necessarily want the entire sound to be present at these lower ends. So we're going to start it off at around here and then it's going to turn all the way up to about um, 80 percentile around up here or maybe even 90. <laughs> That way we don't have that extra sub that's just lying around here going absolutely nowhere in life. <laughs> so what do you say we jump right into our effects section because oh boy oh boy do we have quite a bit of information going on here. Into the effects section we're going to go and turn on our tube distortion. Yeah we're just going to leave it at tube and we're going to turn up the drive all the way. Hell yeah. <laughs> Me? Did I do all the way? Maybe turn it down just a tad bit. Ninety-four percent's really fat, so we'll leave it right there. That sounds perfect. So that's gonna bring us right back into our filter. So we're gonna turn on our filter and we're gonna leave it on MG lows, and we're gonna go right over here to our MG low twenty-four. And here we're just going to go ahead and. We're going to begin our modulation once again. We're going to be doing a very similar thing, but just not at the right uh, cutoff. Different frequencies that we're going to be modulating here. Eh? Um, so we're going to be dropping it from around the 117 hertz to around 2200 or 2500 even. So let's go ahead and do that. Okie dokie. Now we are starting to get somewhere, right? Um, the hyper... We want to turn that down to around zero. We don't really want that on that kind of sound. Um, dimension, of course we want some extra stereo width. Who doesn't want stereo width in their life? So we're going to turn down that size to about 2%, maybe even 3 or 1%, just somewhere around there. Not so much that we have. Here, let me turn up the mix to about here, um, just so you guys can hear the effect that the size is. Oh my gosh, that sounds disgusting. So we're going to leave that down to around our 2% and we'll leave the mix in around 34%, somewhere, somewhere around there. Now that'll bring us right into the reverb. What is this classic house whoop without reverb? I mean, we're in a house, right? Of course, there's going to be some kind of feedback. <laughs> okay, and we're in a bass house. <laughs> um, so this is what it's going to sound like. You can change the size a little bit. That's sounding pretty good, to be honest. Um, now that's just gonna leave us with the EQ, which we're gonna drop the low end a, bit, a tad bit. And this, the high end, maybe we could turn that up just a tad. That's all it takes. <laughs> that was a really easy sound to make, but um, I know that some of you guys may not know how to do this, so I really want to stick it all together in a tutorial because I haven't already done this sound. I don't even know how I haven't done this out. Driving me nuts. I actually did in massive, but who the hell uses massive anymore, right? Um, I mean, I honestly can't stand massive. It's dusty. It's just a dusty plugin at this point. I'm sorry, I'm chirping massive right now, but I'm just being real with you guys. I tried opening it up last week. Oh my gosh, I could not stand the workflow. Serum is just killing the game. But aside from the point, today's tutorial was pretty cool. If you guys thought it was cool, leave a like. If you didn't think it was cool, don't leave a dislike. Just click off the video because I don't want any dislikes. But anyways, guys, my name is Shane from Rocky Powered Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next video.